cursor is visible to you the machine or the pelton turbine you can see the number of blades connected on the disc disc is uh, threaded here to the shaft and behind you can see after the pelton turbine after the mechanical machine we have a shaft connected to a generator and complete entire generator part is completely closed similarly when the pelton turbine is also working we will be having some casing here so that casing will help us to overcome the splashing or wastage of the water so this everyone has observed in the classroom also in this if i take one blade so one blade is taken here maybe for this turbine the nozzle is from left hand side see the cursor here i am showing okay are you understanding what i am telling from the left if the nozzle is hitting the water the pelton turbine can rotate in given clockwise direction for the given machine but in this side right hand side if you see one one blade i have taken which is from the shaft and disc one blade is considered on this blade through the nozzle water is coming and hitting the splitter of the pelton cup or you can say pelton blade one blade is taken in this one cup or blade there are two passages so water what is coming and hitting here is going to split into two parts so water is coming out after giving some force to the or velocity it is transferring to the blade and the blade is going to rotate as per the given machine here so shaft will rotate so similarly for all the blades same mechanism is going to takes place so in subject we are going to focus on only one blade and flow directions so you see the flow here very clearly they have shown in the top view or the top image they have shown the flow passage in blue color is coming light blue color after splitting water on the pelton couple it is diverting in same direction almost u turn and it is coming out so this you have seen in the classroom i think and also we have drawn many such uh, velocity triangles in the classroom but here you can observe where the flow is taking place flow lines that section if i take it becomes the section becomes parallel to the shaft you see the shaft here shaft on the machine how it is connected parallel to this shaft on the blade if you see the flow is also taking place number of layers of fluid also if you consider one layer of fluid particle is flowing in this direction which is parallel to shaft or parallel to horizontal plane so on the horizontal plane itself i have taken both inlet and outlet velocity triangles so inlet side you are taking one as a rotation u1 is the tangential velocity of the blade part of that v1 is taken here so either you can show u1 earlier or after that and v r1 if you see very near to the blade see the splitter here splitter is straight it is not curvature so here in the books they have shown some curvature nature but actually if you see the cut shape of the pelton wheel the actual pelton uh, cup if you see it is having a straight okay so this i have shown in the notes here you can see the splitter so fluid layer is coming splitting here left hand side right hand side and it is coming out see the plane here it is horizontal plane in one single plane both inlet velocity outlet velocity are shown same thing i am trying to show in the books here so in the books they have not given the splitter here so v r1 will be exactly parallel to absolute velocity so there is no alpha and beta values in the velocity triangle velocity triangle becomes a single line but at the outlet if you see here at the half of the pelton cup you have the curvature okay here after the splitter the entire blade is in curvature on left hand side on right hand side both side any one side you can consider and draw the velocity triangle so tangent to the blade exit side if you draw one line that line we call it as relative velocity okay beta 2 is the blade angle at the exit side tangent to that line if i draw that is the exit velocity of the fluid in a tangential direction to the blade that is vr2 understood now coming to the flow direction see on the blade how the flow is taking place 
flow is taking place from the center to the left side from the center to the right side did you understand similarly here if i consider only left hand side triangle exit side see the flow direction flow direction is perpendicular to this blade or parallel to the flow direction i have drawn here vf2 okay vf1 and vf2 both are in the given directions which is may be inside the triangle or outside the triangle depending upon the given conditions and also you know that between alpha and beta we have tangential velocity of the blade at the exit side but as the plane is same the radius from this t to shaft center radius from c to shaft center if you consider both radiuses will be same in the impulse turbine so u1 will be equals to u2 for pelton turbine or you can say axial flow machines like kaplan and uh, now you are studying the chapter 2 axial flow machines in such cases u1 and u2 will be same why u1 we know pi d n by 60 that d is same at inlet side at exit side because we have taken the same section parallel to shaft so u will be same in the next slide i have taken francis turbine so on the left hand side i have shown the top view of the francis turbine okay above this image this circular part what you can see is the top view of the francis turbine bottom what you are seeing is the front view front sectional view of the francis turbine and after casing once the water enters here in the front view you can see there are guide blades first it will enter through the guide blades like nozzle in the pelton turbine after going through the guide blades what will happen the water will come in the form of v1 absolute velocity of the water see here in the circular part i have shown in the vertical plane top view okay plane parallel to the blade entry the flow is taking place and it is hitting the blades once v1 hits the blade at alpha 1 blades will start rotating either clockwise anti clockwise depending upon the shape okay how it is entering it is entering in the radial direction see the radius of the circle here or radius of the blades so from the inlet tip the water is entering to the rotating blades so flow velocity is shown in the radial inlet direction once it enters the blade it takes the flow direction as per the blade angle beta 1 at the inlet side so it becomes v r 1 see the blade shape here for first blade if i see see the entry side here getting a point this blade shape once v1 comes and hits here it has to flow in the direction of vr1 because blade rotating shape you have to observe not the fixed blade sorry rotating blades if you see it has to turn in the direction of vr1 and it has to take the angle of blade at inlet so here at radius r1 r1 is very high u1 is also high and this u1 and vu1 how values changes we have seen in the problems that is not a uh, question here but question is how inlet velocity triangle looks so in the top view it is parallel to the circle or the radius of the francis turbine and this inlet velocity triangle is perpendicular to the shaft this we need to understand here similarly i have shown here in three dimensional figure inlet side velocity triangle v1 is coming and hitting the blades once blades take the velocity it will turn the velocity to vr1 according to blade shape and the flow direction is vf if it is a mixed flow machine radial flow at the inlet will be turning back to the axial flow direction at the outlet side you see in the front view also in this front view the blade shape is turning the water from radially inward to axially outlet so axial outlet velocity triangle i have taken here at the exit of the one of the blade can take for the left hand side blade what is happening v r1 is coming in the direction of v r2 is coming in the direction of blade exit angle beta 2 and if it is not having any energy v u2 will be zero so there is no velocity left out because francis turbine kaplan turbine are working under very low head uh, damps 
ओके नाउ सी द फ्लो डायरेक्शन नाउ फ्लो डायरेक्शन इज चेंजिंग फ्रॉम रेडियल परपेंडिकुलर टू शाफ्ट नाउ इट इज बिकमिंग पैरल टू शाफ्ट बट वेलॉसिटी ट्राइंगल वी शो वी एफ एंड वी एफ टू बोथ आर इन द सेम लाइन्स दैट्स ऑल और कैन सी दिस इमेज ओके इनलेट साइड आउटलेट साइड इट इज टर्निंग फ्रॉम परपेंडिकुलर टू शाफ्ट देन इट इज बिकमिंग पैरल टू शाफ्ट सो रेडियस इज चेंजिंग सो यू वन एंड यू टू विल बी डिफरेंट और इन द बुक्स दे हैव शोन लाइक दिस इन द बुक्स दे हैव शोन लाइक दिस वॉट दे हैव डन दे हैव टेकन रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ग्रेड सेक्शन मिक्सड फ्लो रेडियल फ्लो वट एवर इनलेट वेलॉसिटी ट्राइंगल्स वेरियस टाइप्स दे हैव शोन एंड एक्सिट वेलॉसिटी ट्राइंगल लाइक दिस आई एम ट्राइंग टू टेल यू इन दिस फॉर्म Yes, coming back to this image, you see very uh, nicely they have uh, given here. There are n number of rotors for radial flow and uh, different types of flow. Especially if you see the bottom corner image with multiple rotors in the lab where air blower experiment you have done initially, you can see the closed type of uh, impeller. Okay, this is the eye of the impeller. Center of the rotor is the eye of the impeller. okay if it is a blower fan or a pump the flow takes place from the center to the exit side okay or if the blade is completely radial type okay on the blade flow is taking place only radial means what happens the blade shapes will be like this or the triangles if you see i have shown on the left hand side with yellow color blade if you see this blade yes can you see the movement of the triangle and see the blade shape here it is the blade having only radial direction flow the blade is not starting from eye of the impeller in the axial direction not it is coming in the radial direction it is not a mixed flow blade it is a radial flow blade why i am taking this example because in the francis turbine and uh, pumps we have seen radial flow remains constant inlet flow velocity triangle or the outlet velocity triangle everywhere they have told about radial flow is taking place in that case if i talk okay so what is going to happen from the outside the velocity of the water is coming and hitting in the direction of v1 you see the blades here variety of blades okay assume that all the blades are only taking place in the radial direction not mixed flow but if it is a mixed flow also the blades can be twisted like this in this you can see here these twisted blades where i told you inlet is perpendicular to shaft that is radial flow outlet is axial flow but in this image same rotor red color rotor if you see same rotor the shape of the shaft itself is converting the direction or you can see here this image inlet is axial parallel to the shaft outlet of the pump is in the perpendicular to shaft radial flow so axial and radial both flow is taking place for the given rotor or the pump or the impeller and it is a mixed flow machine so in the pump inlet side there is low energy for the water because it is in the stored in reservoir so vu1 was zero in the pump so it is pumping means negative energy it is creating and lifting water from zero to higher energy once water energy recovers or gains the energy v2 becomes higher than v1 and see the vr relative velocities as per the blade shape at the inlet side beta1 vr1 will turn exit side according to the blade shape vr2 will come out if the blade speed is very less v2 will be this side and see the flow direction flow direction here is axial direction here the flow is radial direction so that's why we call it as mixed flow machine but while representing in the books generally we consider one plane like this one plane just a simple plane radial mixed flow whatever we show in one direction maybe in some cases vf may be different from vf2 also but that case we are not taken so this is regarding francis turbine various types of rotors so one more example i told you v1 will come and hit the blades so according to the blade dimension or the blade angle 
beta 1, v r 1 will turn or v 1 will turn into v r 1. Flow is taking place from outside to inside if it is a turbine. While coming out, while coming out, see here, while coming out it is radial. See the flow direction. It will come out in the v r 2 direction. After that it will turn according to the flow passage or the shaft direction not because of the blade it is turning into axial outlet this we need to understand or if it is a completely a reaction turbine or a radial turbine you see the velocity triangle both are on the same planes not in different planes inlet velocity triangle outlet velocity triangle beta 1 v r 1 is represented at outlet side beta 2 is there tangent to beta 2 have drawn v r 2 so this represents outlet side velocity triangle now see the v u1 and u2 both are different because radius are different for the blades from the shaft radius of the inlet tip of the blade outlet tip of the blade with respect to shaft both radiuses are different tangential velocity of the blade will be different the lab also have seen so in the kaplan turbine flow is coming and directed by the guide blades guide blades will direct the flow towards the rotating blades See the rotating blades connected to the hub here or the shaft. These blades are connected to the hub, okay, parallel to the shaft. And see the flow direction. Flow is coming and one layer of or one line of the flow, if you see, the arrow marks are shown here, which are coming and hitting the blade. Blades will start rotating in the opposite direction. So in that, I have taken this velocity triangle on the right hand side, if you see, inlet side. V1 is coming from the guide blades in the axial direction. See, flow is directed from radial direction to axial direction from the guide blades or see the shaft radius here. Shaft is machined such that the flow direction it can change from radial to axial direction. Radial means perpendicular to shaft. After that, the shape if you see, it is turning to axial direction parallel to shaft but main focus is what on rotating blade how the flow is taking place on the blade flow is taking place parallel to the shaft can you see the blade shape so on this line if I take the section I can show the blade shape like this inlet velocity triangle V1 is coming and hitting here so on this curvature I have taken one line to show inlet and outlet velocity triangles. Both velocity triangles are on the same plane because it is an axial flow machine. It is not a mixed flow machine, it is an axial flow machine. So on the both vertical planes only, I have shown the inlet velocity triangle, V1 is coming and hitting with absolute velocity from the guide blade. And it is turning by beta 1, see the beta 1, according to VR1 it is turning. And exit side, beta 2 is there, exactly at beta 2 tangent to that flow, v r2 is drawn here flow direction you see from inlet to outlet it is parallel to shaft so v f1 v f2 or meridional velocity v m1 v m2 or you can say axial flow v x1 v x2 both are on the same direction and remaining part you know between alpha and beta values u is there so for this axial machine for steam as well as kaplan turbine both u1 and u2 are same because if you take the point here the radius from the shaft is same. If you take the radius from this point to shaft center, the radius will be same. Whenever radius and diameter remain same for the flow inlet and outlet side, the U1 and U2 tangential velocity of the solid blade will remain constant. So that I try to represent here. After rotating the blades, again the energy will be lost in the fluid at the outlet side. So VU2 is zero then outlet velocity triangle will be only 90 degree triangle. Is it clear? The page is included in notes. You can observe the how velocity triangle is taken from one line. Now coming to the pump, as I explained, mixed flow pump, centrifugal pump, if the impeller, now I call impeller because it is an energy absorbing machine. So I'll not call rotor, I'll call it as impeller. See the inlet side. Inlet side, there is no energy available in the reservoir. Reservoir is having static or stagnation without any flow water. Now, 
because of negative pressure energy generated at the inlet pipe suction is generated here in the inlet pipe see the blade shape blade is taking the water in axial direction and at the outlet side it is radial direction radius to the shaft it is flowing getting my point so this becomes a mixed flow machine and also you can see here blades are not twisted like that the shaft itself is twisted on the shaft or disc the blades are fixed now see the shape of the impeller it is turning axial to radial direction so axially the flow is entering in suction velocity v1 and it is turning into vr1 because of beta1 blade inlet angle exit side okay exit side you can see the blade twist of the blade is taking the velocity outlet at vr2 first then once it exits the blade there is no support to the fluid so it will flow in the v2 direction depending upon the speed of the blade so once it loses the support of blade the absolute velocity of water becomes v2 in alpha 2 direction now you see the flow directions vf1 is in axial direction vf2 is in radial direction but in the books if you see in the books how they will show is they will take one section whether it is radial or axial they will show both the triangles in the same plane but if you understand in three dimension knowing the velocity triangles becomes very simple and you can draw in any shape now depending upon the velocity uh, magnitudes blade velocity and flow velocity tangential direction changes in the velocities you can show different velocities triangles at inlet and outlet side based on the calculations okay lastly coming to the steam turbines i have shown at the top steam turbine shaft a main shaft and it is having number of stages to consume all the power from the steam we need compounding of the steam turbine blades why compounding because steam will be having lot of energy it may rotate at very high speed and controlling of the generator and shaft speed of turbine is very difficult so to consume all the energy present in the steam we have number of rotating blades here like this in different stages and at the bottom you can see the casing in the casing we have fixed blades or the nozzle guide blades which are in between the rotor blades clear so if i consider one type of rotor now i am calling it as rotor because it is a turbine i am not calling this as a impeller so in one impeller if you see a rotor if you see the nozzle guide nozzle is shown something like this or we will be having number of blades in 360 degrees those number of blades fixed blades are equal to number of rotating blades so these are the rotating blades fixed on the shaft so once it st steam flows over these blades steam will pass through the parallel direction to the shaft so in syllabus we have axial flow steam turbine so one stage is shown here so through the guide blade v1 is coming out and hitting the blades so one blade it is hitting see the curvature of the blades here after guide blades steam will come and hit the rotating blades black color shapes so black color blades are rotating blades white color blades are or uh, non thick blades are fixed blades here so this will hit the cup of the blade and what will happen in the axial flow it is moving so v of one is parallel to the shaft you see here in the triangle v of one is parallel to shaft okay v r1 is after v1 hits the blade it will take the angle of beta1 inlet velocity blade angle that it will take at the exit side same as pelton turbine but it is in the axial direction so v of2 is in axial direction v of1 v of2 both are in axial direction at the exit of the blade what is coming out first v r2 tangent to the blade beta2 it will come out okay once it comes out remaining velocity of the fluid with less magnitude is coming away from the blade once it comes away from the blade it loses the support and it will come out in this direction alpha 2 this alpha 2 will be entering second stage of the fixed blades so fixed blades you can see here in in between number of blades i have shown the non thick blades 
or non black blades on this blade alpha 1 is coming sorry alpha 2 is coming and hitting the fixed blades fixed blades will turn the direction again they will turn the direction towards again rotating blades okay so 2 and i can say this as 3 like this it will go in number of stages 10 stages 20 stages like that at the last stage the steam is expanded you can see the diameter of the rotor here the steam is very high pressure okay area required is very small but when the steam pressure decreases and all the velocity is used the volume of the steam is very high so to accommodate that volume of the steam the blade diameters or the casing diameter is very high at the exit side okay and also we are going to maintain the shaft speed same so same thing you can see here a shaft is shown on the shaft will be having disc and assume that a section of the blade is considered all these blades are parallel to shaft so inlet side outlet side radius is same when radius is same inlet and outlet side tangential velocity of the blade is same so just consider here first row of moving blades first row of moving blades the inlet velocity is coming from the nozzle blades v1 once it hits the blade it will take the direction of vr1 because of the blade angle beta 1 and blade starts moving in the axial sorry blade will start rotating in the given tangential direction after that at the exit side half blade you can see the beta 2 in beta 2 vr2 will come out and v2 will come in the direction of alpha 2 exactly matching with the guide blade angle and see the flow direction here entire triangle if you see the just flow of water or steam it is coming in the axial direction parallel to shaft vf2 parallel to shaft vf3 after second stage vf2 vf3 vf4 all are in the parallel to shaft so this is a axial flow machine only changes happening are with absolute velocity and relative velocity according to the blade shapes whether it is fixed or moving blade according to blade shapes it is changing so here what i am trying to tell is in impulse turbine like pelton turbine and in the kaplan turbine axial flow machine water and here in the steam turbine axial flow machine we have tangential velocity of the blade same when tangential velocity of the blade is same u v same see both the triangles okay we can combine the triangles by keeping the base common because u is same and join inlet and outlet velocity triangles it looks like this for second stage also you have u same for all the stages for all the stages of the turbine blades we have tangential velocity u as same so for all stages u will be common but inlet and outlet velocity triangles will change once at the last stage it comes out it comes out in the direction of axial direction so vf is exactly matching with the axial direction of the machine or the shaft so this is at 90 degree now point is clear or some books they have given base near to the blade or many books have taken tip of the blade to the tip of the triangle you can draw any type either base near to the tip of the blade or tip of the triangle towards the tip of the blade so you can see the number of stages number of blades and number of velocity triangles for fixed blade rotating blade fixed blade rotating blade in axial directions or in radial direction also i can go on adding such uh, mixed flow impellers to make it multi stage uh, pump so discharge of one pump is given to next pump so like this we have number of stages okay so like this we are drawing the velocity triangles either keeping base common if tangential velocity of the blade is same if say for example tangential velocity or the radial flow velocity vf1 is same as vf2 in that case also we can keep the tip of the triangle same and we can join inlet and outlet velocity triangle both together keeping the tip same and vf same in that case u1 and u2 may be different because it is a radial flow machine 